<laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here with my review of Naruto Chapter 615, Unbreakable Bonds. I was actually going to do this review last night, but I was just like, dang, I can't do this. You know, like some people put their reviews out as soon as the chapters come out so they get the maximum numbers of maximum number of views in my opinion and uh, yeah it was like one or two in the morning I did not want to do that I think it was two but yeah moving on I can kind of see why people are starting to dislike Obito he's he's sounding like a crazy person for real like he sounded like a crazy person and he's trying to make Naruto a crazy person while Naruto's in this state of you know like just emptiness, you know, his friend's dead, he doesn't know what to do, see, Obito, you just killed Neji, or you could say Neji got himself killed, because you know he jumped in the way, <laughs> either way, Naruto was affected by this, and Obito won't stop with the insults, and <sighs> it's just horrible. So, um, the funny thing is, Naruto kind of remembers that, uh, he said he was going to protect his friends, and he kind of didn't, because Neji's on the ground, dead. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I, I wrote this up earlier, I'm trying to read it. Uh, Obito also rem remembers that fact, but, you know... He's just insulting Naruto the whole time, saying that um, there are comrades dead all around him, their bodies are losing warmth, and more people will die. Now, the last one, I kind of expected that. More people will die, but I doubt they'll all be main characters. I doubt there will be that many more main character deaths. Um, if there are more deaths, I would say it's probably going to be... Um, in the adult character range and it won't be like the the rookies and stuff I hope it's not those characters I mean a lot of people want the main characters to die and stuff I don't really want that I've actually stated that I stated that in my previous video um, uh, it was like a discussion on Neji's death and the haters of Naruto so you should check that out yeah plug in my own videos here it's uh just my personal preference about the the um main characters not dying in that yet. Um Midara kinda sees his old self in Obito and I'm s I was kinda confused on what he meant by this. Did he mean that um he saw himself in Obito as a young man? Cause I I don't really think we've seen have we seen Midara as a young man? I'm not sure. Well, I'm not gonna get into that. It's either like him as a young man or him as an old guy, right? So, um did he mean his young self, or did he mean the, the old man? Because, like, the old man was the one who Obito actually met, who uh, Obito stayed with all this time and all that. And, um, you know, when you're around someone, they can influence your behavior, change how you act. And, you know, Madara is basically saying that he used to be crazy, and now Obito is crazy. So, yeah. And a lot of people are saying, you know, Obito, he doesn't really care about, um, the war and stuff. He just wants to make people suffer like he has over Ren. And it's kind of, um, some people don't really respect his reasoning for, like, this war and all that stuff. And I don't, I don't know. I don't really have that, like... I don't have some huge, substantial opinion on it that can, like, change the Naruto universe. It's, it's just, it's just like, meh, meh. Um, Obito brings up Naruto's mother, father, and even Jiraiya, you know. When you think about it, Obito's kind of, maybe not directly, but he's caused all their deaths. Um, well, I, I guess you could say... Yeah, I'll say indirectly, because, um, you know, Minato and Kushina, Nine-Tailed Fox, and all that drama, and they, um, they sealed some of the energy and that stuff, and he removed the, um, the nine 
details from its gingeriki and yeah, good times. And you know, Pain killed Jiraiya. Uh, I'll just say he he caused most of the events in Naruto indirectly. Naruto, um, you know, he just has like a crazed look on his um on his face. I'm not sure if you would consider that to be like the right word. Let's just say he looks empty. You know, he looks dead. Um, and Obito is still going on about uh, reality, what's left. He even um, tries to get Naruto to join them. Now, this is either a really bad trick or Obito's flaw as a villain. I say it's a bad trick because, like, he could say, Naruto, come join us. And then, as soon as Naruto's like, yeah, let's kill these guys. He just could, like, stab him in the back with a kunai or something. And, um, or rip his head off. Yeah, let's get dark here. Um, Obito's flaw as a villain, you know, whenever you ask someone to join your side, it's just stupid, because it might not work out, and, you know, Naruto could be like, yeah, I'll join your side, and then Obito turns his back, he's just like, Rasengan! I shouldn't try to be funny. Uh, yeah. It's just like, either Obito's ignorant, or Naruto's ignorant in that situation. Is, uh, you know, you could just say, Obito's crazy, he's trying to get his enemies to join his side, you know, um, let's make them suffer, let's cause them all despair, because, you know, Rin died, and that really affected me, even though I don't know the full... Uh, thing about it. And what What is going on with that? You know, you have Kakashi who, it appears that he killed Ren, but we have no information about that, and I, I don't think he killed her. I'm, I'm just saying. There there has to be more to it. And that's what I really want to learn. And I kind of want to see Sasuke. Uh, this, this part of the war right now is not interesting. I mean, it was and then it's not. Naruto's just like on a roller coaster between good and bad chapters. So Hinata basically slaps Naruto, you know, he's basically dead. She brings him back. It's strange. You know, Hinata, she's gotten a few scenes like this with Naruto where she gets all speechy because he influenced her and it's it's pretty cool. But you know, we can like um compare his love interests. His love and arrest is... Oh, wow, I cannot talk. His love... Um, just uh, two people that um, could possibly be interested in him. Oh, wow, I can say that word. Um, you know, you have Hinata and Sakura. Sakura hasn't really done anything in this way for Naruto, whereas Hinata has. And I believe that's another thing that kind of leads people to think that Hinata might be the one who ends up with Naruto. Um just a lot of people are assuming this, like, um, a lot of chapter reviews are just like, Naruhina, and I'm just like, yeah, I, I don't like shipping that much. Um, you know, uh, let me see, I don't really care about the relationship stuff, like, either way, which whichever one he chooses, I don't, I don't really care, but it, it would be nice to see, like, who Kishimoto pairs him up with, or who Kishimoto kind of like, oh, I should um, make Naruto and Sakura together, or I should make Naruto and Hinata together, like, it would be cool to know if he actually struggles with that, um, throughout the process of making Naruto, and I am just like, I'm just like talking through this review, I'm not even like, um, <laughs> reviewing a chapter, oh my god, um, Neji's death is just like, it kind of seems like Naruto has been so s screwed up from Neji's death that he can't make any decisions, you know, he's just dead. <laughs> um, you have three characters trying to talk to him, trying to help him out. You have Obito, the crazy guy. You have Hinata, the girl who's in love with him. And you have Kurama, the monster nine-tailed fox inside of him. Which one should he listen to? Yeah. I really like the fact that um, Kurama, the nine-tailed fox, brought up Naruto's parents because um, uh, some people said this last week that their death was similar to Neji's, or Neji's death was similar to theirs, would probably be the correct way to say it. And, um, 
I, I agree, because, you know, they got stabbed and all that. Um, yeah, overall, this is a good chapter. Um, you can um, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, you know, Naruto and Hinata holding hands, I don't know, in the middle of a war, seems kind of stupid, but... So he's gotten his power back, and yeah. Um. Oh my God, there there's more to this. I feel so horrible, but I'm gonna walk away right now, and I'm gonna go. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Oh wow, this is my worst chapter review ever. Um, yeah, there was more to the chapter, and I uh, my review got cut off. So um, Obito is about to go on the assault again with the Ten Tails, and B comes in, and B and Sai they're on um, one of Sai's birds. You know, he creates stuff with his art, um, with his paint and stuff. So um, B transforms to the Hachibi. He uh, does a bijou bomb like right in the Tentails' mouth, and that um, collides with the bijou bomb that the Tentails was creating, and it, it goes back into there. He starts firing multiple um, bijou bombs, and it causes this huge explosion that blows B away. It almost looks like it almost looks like the um, the Hotch B is missing a tooth. If you actually look at the page again, I'm not sure uh, if that was a mistake on Kishimoto's fault um, or. Kishimoto or um, the scan scan or whatever it's called. Um, the fact that Naruto and Hinata are holding hands at the end of the chapter, uh, it leads people to believe that they're getting together in a relationship. Naruto has finally got some of his power back. Um, this chapter was alright. Could have been better. It definitely was my favorite. <laughs> this definitely was my favorite review. Um, I'm starting to get more into romance stories, so this is kind of interesting to me, but I don't really care that much. Uh, I definitely wonder how this is going to turn out between them, how this is going to affect their relationship. Uh, in my opinion, Naruto's going to have to gain the full power of the fox thief, excuse me, to even take on the Ten Tails. Uh, B is a, being a bit reckless, and it kind of leads me to believe that he's going to get absorbed, and Naruto's not. Cause you know Naruto's the main character. We can't really have him die like this. Um, I'm sure there might be another way to get the Nine Tails energy out of Naruto, and that possibly might cause a lot of problems for everyone in the series. Um, Obito's insanity—that definitely might be his downfall. He uh, definitely might. Oh, that does not sound right. Um, he's just, like, insane. He doesn't really care. He, it doesn't seem like he's really caring about what's in front of him. He's just trying to cause despair for his own pleasure. Um, Madara is letting Obito do whatever just because he needs him. And I feel like eventually Madara's just going to be like, stop. You know, um, you know, it's, it's time to get serious. Um, I don't care if you can bring me back or not. And then maybe Madara will scare Obito. I'm not sure. Um, Madara has to take control eventually. The people seem, the people seem shocked that Neji died. You know, you had Guy, Lee, Tintin, some other people. They're like, Neji died, yet no one jumped up and like started fighting. And I, I don't get that. I figured like, you know, you have your friend die in front of you or your rivals for like Lee. And, um, 
they don't do anything. They're just like in shock. Maybe that's just their way of handling it. I would have expected them to, you know, just jump out recklessly and like, I'm gonna kill you, but that didn't work out. Um, thanks for watching. Comment to join the discussion. Rate the video because your feedback matters. Share this video with your friends because they need to see this. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Check out some of my favorite channels on my channel, on the right side of the channel. Um, please check out some of my other reviews, such as the... Uh, the Pokemon Black and White 2 review, the Monster Tail review. Um, if you read Bakuman, you should check out Bakuman Volume 3. I did a review over that. I have a re review up of uh, Soul, uh, Soul Eater Volume 1. Um, those are some of my favorite reviews by myself. Uh, as I said earlier in the video, you should check out the Neji discussion. And I'm really sorry that this video wasn't like high quality. I was pretty lazy with this. Um, this is mainly because I was doing this review in the morning and um, yeah it's just like um, I was just doing a quick review and I was expecting to get this done within like six minutes and I, I didn't and I really apologize. I'm, it's getting close to 20 minutes and I definitely don't want a 20 minute review up. That's just sad. I was going to see if I had some other videos I wanted to just talk about. Yeah, there's, there's nothing really else that I want to recommend. Well, you can check out the Bravest Warriors issue 1 in the web series. I did a review on that. It's a pretty cool series. Um, anyway, see you guys later. Sorry for the long review. Again, I, I apologize.